Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching here Mr. Easy and welcome back to a new video for A-Level Mathematics and today we have 4.3 for the roots of a quartic equation for the rules and examples video and we'll get right into some introduction but before we get into it don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ring on the notification bell so you don't any future videos and we'll get into some introduction for the roots of a quartic equation so here we have some quartic graphs and quartic basically means x or like any variable to the power of 4. So this is a quartic, where 3 means cubic and 2 means quadratic. So here we have 3 possible graphs and 3 possible pairs of roots that we have. So here we have the first case, we have either 2 real roots or 2 complex roots, and the complex roots are basically conjugate pairs. Or we can have 4 real roots where it cuts, where the graph cuts um, the, um, the, the x-axis at 4 precise points. So it could be like these two distinct points and these two are repeated points. Or we could have zero real roots and four complex roots where it's basically two conjugate pairs. Or two complex conjugate pairs. Or it might look something like this. And it's not possible. So using the knowledge on this, we can say that in short, if alpha, beta, gamma and delta are the roots of a quartic equation of a x to the power 4, plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equals 0 then we have this whole long thing right here where I will say it all up but I'll just um, talk through it basically this equation will be equal to a times x minus alpha times x minus beta times x minus gamma times x minus delta then we can expand it out to get this whole long equation here then finally it will be equal to this expression right here so a x to the power 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equals to ax4 minus a times alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta x cubed and this whole thing and therefore this leads to b equals whole uh, these whole um, expressions or equations and you might be wondering what is this right and it's really complicated so you don't have to know this but what you do have to know which what this builds onto is basically the sum and product of quartic roots and this is this is what you need to know right so you have the sum and product of quartic roots. So we have the polynomial, which is what we're looking at. We're looking at quartic, which is basically a x to the power 4 plus b x cubed plus c x squared plus d x plus e. And it has roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And this is how you write each of the roots. So here's alpha, beta, gamma, and oops, and delta, like so. So the sum of the roots will be equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equals minus b over a, which is just like the ones before, like the sum the sum of quadratic roots or cubic roots. And this can be simplified, like this whole thing can be written as the sum of our oops, the sum sigma of alpha. Like so and here we have the sum of the product of pairs of roots. We have we basically have to have all combinations of the, um, the product pairs and we can use our knowledge on com uh, permutations and combinations to find out how many pairs there are and there are 6 and the 6 are from alpha, alpha beta, alpha gamma plus alpha delta and there's beta gamma and there's beta delta and the last pair will be gamma delta so, so we have 6 pairs and each sum of product of pairs of roots is equal to c over a and this whole thing, this whole expression could be simplified by writing like so the sum of alpha beta like so and here we have the sum of the products of triples which is basically a triple like uh, the three roots together there are four possible pairs the first one is alpha beta gamma the second possible pair is alpha beta delta the third possible pair is alpha gamma delta and the fourth pair is beta gamma delta and that equals minus d over a like so and this as usual could be simplified as so out the sum of alpha beta gamma like so and lastly the sum of the product of quadruples or basically the sum of all the roots together and it's equal to alpha beta gamma delta and it equals to e over a and notice how all of them, they have the denominator of a and their signs are oscillating between minus to plus to minus to plus. So for example, we have this quadratic, uh, sorry, this quartic equation x to the power of 4 minus 10x cubed 
uh, plus 35x squared minus 50x plus 24. I will first so uh, let me just first solve it with my calculator to find out the root. So let me just type into my calculator. And using my calculator, I can see that the roots are, give me one second, yeah, the roots are x equals 4. So let me just write it out. The, the roots are x equals 4, x equals 3 x equals 2 and x equals 1 so we can keep that in mind so firstly we have the sum of roots which is basically the whole the sum so we can use the result from the top here where it's basically equal to minus b over a so minus b over a gets us minus minus 10 over 1 which is 10. we can verify using our roots so the sum of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is indeed 10. so that's 10 and the product of pairs of the roots is equal to c over a which is basically 4 times 3 plus 4 times 2 plus 4 times 1 plus 3 times 2 times 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 and this whole complicated thing and this equals to 35 and same as the product of triple of the roots and for the product of the quadruples of the roots it's basically e over a which is equal to 24 and verifying it using our, um, our roots we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 1 is 24, and therefore it is 24, like so. And it's quite magical. And basically here's a summary for all the sums and products we've encountered so far, and that's all we're going to encounter in core peer 1. So we've encountered the sum of quadratic pairs, uh, cubic and quartic. So notice how quadratic only, stops, uh, only goes up to the product of pairs of roots, it's because there's no third root or fourth root. And then same as cubic where there's no fourth root. So for quadratic, it only applies to um, the sum of um, the sum of roots and then product pairs of the roots. And notice how in each column, they have the same sum. Look, minus b over a, minus b over a, minus b over a, c over a, and there's no root here. So d over d, uh, minus d over a and e over a. And the signs are oscillating between negative to positive to negative to positive. And each, um, if you go down each row or each um, polynomial degree, you can see that we have one more root for the sum, as well as the different product pairs or the product of triples or product of quadruples, like so. And moving on to a question, we have roots of a quarter equation examples. So the equation s to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed plus px squared plus qx minus 60 equals 0 and these conditions has roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta given that, uh, uh, given that gamma equals minus 2 plus 4i and delta equals the complex conjugate of gamma of gamma show that alpha plus beta minus 2 equals 0 and that alpha beta plus 3 equal, uh, alpha plus 3 alpha beta plus 3 equals 0 sorry so from here we can know that uh, gamma and delta are basically complex conjugates so we know that gamma equals minus 2 plus 4i and therefore delta must be the complex conjugate which means that the sign before the imaginary unit changes so minus 2 plus 4i becomes minus 2 minus 4i like so and from here the first part we can see that there's only it's only concerned with the sum of roots right because there's no uh, there's no pairs or there's no triples or there's no quadruples that means for the first part we have to show we have to find the sum of the roots and it's basically equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta and this is equal to minus oops delta is equal to minus b over a right so if we, we don't know what alpha beta is so just put alpha plus beta what we do know what gamma and delta is from the top here right so gamma is minus 2 plus 4i and minus 2 minus 4i equals minus b over a b is 2 um, two, and a is 1 so 2 over 1 is 2 so just minus 2 so from here we can see that these the imaginary unit cancel out and we're left with alpha plus beta oops alpha plus beta minus 4 equals minus 2 and therefore we can just add 2 to both sides to get alpha plus beta minus 2 equals 0 and we've shown that so QED right, so and for part 2 of the, of, the, of the same question show that alpha beta plus 3 equals 0 so our first instinct is to just find the roots of the product pairs of the roots 
like alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta and so on. But remember that that, uh, that product pair of the roots is equal to C over A. And in the original equation, the, the coefficient for C is P. So C over A will get us P over 1, which is basically P, right? But as you can see in this original equation, there's no P. There's no P. It's just alpha and beta. So we have to find the right expression or the right sum that involves just alpha, beta, and perhaps gamma, delta, or n, only numbers in the sum. And in this case, we can see that this right here involves only numbers. And this is a, b, c, d, e, the coefficient for e. And the coefficient of e basically means the sum, of, sorry, the product of the quadruples, right? So therefore, we are concerned with the sum of all the, the product of all the roots or the quadruple pairs, which is basically alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta. And this equals to minus b, c, d, e, which is basically equal to e over a. Because as we saw from previously, this is equal to e over a, where it's oscillating between minus, plus, minus, plus, like so. So e over a. So let me just rewrite it. So we know alpha is equal to just alpha, and beta is just beta. And gamma is minus 2 plus 4i. And delta is minus 2 minus 4i. And it's equal to e over a. So a, b, c, d, e. e in this case is minus 60, and a is 1. So this is just minus 60. So, so this simplifies to alpha beta times, let me just put into my calculator to what this gets. So minus 2 plus 4i times minus 2 minus 4i, and this gets us 20 equals minus 60. Divide both sides by minus 20, sorry, by 20 to get alpha beta, oops, to get alpha beta equals minus 3. And therefore, let me just write it up here. Therefore, we get alpha beta plus 3 equals 0, like so, and QED, ED, like so. And part B, hence find the uh, find all the roots of the quartic equation and find the values of P and Q. So we can, you can find, um, we can find the value of alpha and beta using these two equations by setting up a simultaneous equation. So let's do that first. So we know alpha plus beta minus 2 equals 0 and alpha beta plus 3 equals 0. Let me just rearrange to get, uh, let's say, alpha the subject, right? So it will be alpha equals 2 minus beta, right? And therefore we can put into the second equation of alpha beta plus 3 equals 0. We know alpha is 2 minus, 2 minus beta. So it will be 2 minus, oops. It will be 2 minus beta times beta plus 3 equals 0. And you'll get 2 beta minus beta squared plus 3 equals 0. Or if we were to solve it, we can rewrite it as beta squared minus 2 beta minus 3 equals 0. And that gets us beta minus 3 and beta plus 1. And therefore, beta is either minus 3 or beta equals minus, sorry, beta equals 3, not beta equals minus 3. So beta equals 3 and beta equals minus 1. And it doesn't matter which root you pick because I guarantee that the other root, which is alpha, will be minus 1 in this case or 3 in this case because they're the same. But let me just work out in both cases. So when beta equals 3, alpha equals 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, as I mentioned. And when beta equals minus 1, it will be minus 1. Uh, sorry, it will be minus... Um, it will be 2 minus minus 1, which is 3. Like so. So it doesn't really matter. So all we know that the, is the roots are one, uh, minus 1, 3, minus 2 plus 4i, and minus 2 minus 4i. And that's enough for us to find out the values of P and Q. So P is basically the sum of product pairs. So the sum of product pairs is equal to minus C, B over A, C over A. C over A, right? And C in this case is P. So it would be P over 1, which is basically equal to P. And I'll just save the hassle by just writing just writing the, um, the roots down. So it will just be alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta. Oops. Alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus 
gamma delta oops delta equals p and to save some time i'll just write what p equals to using my calculation so this ultimately gets us p equals after substituting all the values p will be equal to 9 like so and to find that q q is equal to the sum of uh, product uh, the triples of roots so uh, alpha beta gamma equals minus d over a equals q so equals minus q over 1 so equals minus q right so therefore we can just uh, um we can just substitute substitute in some um some equations because uh, sorry some expression some values because we know that the sum of alpha beta gamma is equal to let me just write it up here because there's no space it's equal to alpha beta gamma plus alpha gamma delta plus alpha beta delta plus beta gamma delta right and this gets confusing because they all look basically the same so just have to try to find your own way of writing each um each root in your own way and after um substituting some values i can i found that q is equal to minus 52 oops minus 52 and that's the final answer. And that's it for this rules and examples video for 4.3 for the roots of a quarter equation. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and bring your information about some of any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave a comment down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemisterease.com And I hope you will find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be 4.3 for the roots of a quarter equation for the questions video which will be fun and long and interesting because this is a long topic to cover. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.